How's it going, everybody? Welcome back. And today I want to quickly show you guys how you can easily change your IP address and very reliably, in fact, uh, change your IP address to whatever location you want. Now, as you can tell, my IP address says here that I am in uh, Hong Kong. Clearly, I'm not in Hong Kong. Uh, what I'm doing, though, is using a VPN that says I'm in Hong Kong. Um, now, you have ExpressVPN, NordVPN, and Surfshark. You can use any of them, really, to change your IP address. So if you're interested in any of them, you'll find links to special deals and discounts in the description down below. I'll link reviews as well if you guys are interested in kind of knowing the advantages and disadvantages of each. So the way to change your IP address is very simple, really. Um, so I'm going to turn this off right here in order to change my IP address. Uh, just go to what is my IP address.com and check that you uh, have a whatever IP address that uh, you have, whatever location you might be in. And it'll be as simple as going to locations. Let's say I already used uh, ExpressVPN. Let's say we're NordVPN here. Mm, let's say I want a, uh, I don't know, a French IP address. I'm gonna hit Paris here. And as soon as I'm connected, all you need to do to check that you did indeed change your IP address is hover over the refresh button and hit reload. And the IP address already changed. And just wait up here and um, you'll notice that it'll say that I am in Paris. I did connect to the Paris server. And here we go, City Paris. So it really is as simple as that. You want to change it again, just, um, you know, go to whatever. Let's try Surfshark this time. We'll hit Melbourne. So Melbourne, Australia. <clears throat> as soon as I'm connected, I'm going to just uh, hit refresh. No, still connecting. Australia is quite a bit further. <laughs> it's a much farther server. So I'm going to hit refresh. And it will, first of all, the IP address did change. And second of all, the city should say Melbourne. In just a second here. There it is, Melbourne region name, well, Victoria, Australia. Great. So that's pretty much how you change your IP address. When it comes to picking which VPN, it really depends on what you're looking for. Though I would recommend using or I'd recommend watching the reviews below if you really want to get to know these VPNs. But overall, if you're looking for the most consistent experience, especially let's say if you're looking for a VPN, uh, or if you're trying to change your IP address in order to bypass geo restrictions or access streaming services, uh, trust me on this ExpressVPN is going to be the most consistent experience when it comes to uh, that kind of stuff. And in terms of security, it is very, very good. Uh, in fact, the best. In, in terms of security. They have some of the most sophisticated networks uh, in, in all of the VPN industry, really. NordVPN is a very versatile and quick VPN, and uh, they have a true WireGuard protocol. They have plenty of features, really. They've got, uh, you know, unlike Express with just the um, basic features such as the network clock or the kill switch and split tunneling. Here you've got specialty servers, you've got a true wire log, uh, a true wire guard protocol with Nord links, as well as the OpenVPN, TCP and UDP variants. You have an internet kill switch, but also an app kill switch, which will disable here, as it says, close selected apps when you disconnect from VPN or connection drops, uh, instead of disabling the entire connection when your connection drops. You have split tunneling, of course. You have uh, a custom DNS feature and obfuscated servers in case you're you're uh, living in a uh, censorship-heavy country. That will help you uh, actually bypass uh, censorship firewalls, such as the Great Great Firewall of China. Surfshark is the cheapest uh, VPN here. By the way, Express will let you secure up to five devices, six devices with NordVPN, and a uniquely an unlimited amount of devices with Surfshark. So you have up to 3,200 servers with Surfshark, 5,300, over 5,300 with Nord, and over 3,000 with uh, ExpressVPN. ExpressVPN has 94, 94 regions, 59 regions with Nord, and 65 regions with Surfshark. So this will have the highest amount of regions. So again, you have uh, multiple features here. You have stat static IP and multi-hop. You also do have uh, an equivalent to multi-hop. Multi-hop is essentially open uh, double VPN, excuse me. 
it's not available on uh, the Nord, uh, Nord Lynx protocol. Uh, with OpenVPN, you'll have access to dedicated IP and double VPN, which are essentially multi-op and static IP in Surfshark. You also have Clean Web and Whitelister. Clean Web is the uh, ad, ad blocker, which is also available here in NordVPN. And a Whitelister, which is essentially split tunneling. You also have a kill switch and obfuscated servers, which is called No Borders mode here. And uh, yeah, handful of uh, protocols here. And uh, again, if you're interested in any of these VPNs, you'll find links to special deals and discounts in the description down below. I would definitely recommend checking out the reviews before you decide on any of them, just to know that, um, just so that you know what exactly you're getting yourself into before you get yourself a subscription. That'll be it for me today, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a wonderful day.